Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Palm oil is used in all sorts of packaged and processed foods, soaps, ice creams, cosmetics and even as a biofuel. The versatility of the oil has made it an effective substitute for other kinds of oil. The government of India has also included palm oil in food rations for the poor. With 1.3 billion people, Indian consumption of this oil has exponentially increased in last two decades simply because it is cheap. Malaysia and Indonesia supply more than 80% of the world's palm oil. India is the world's largest palm oil importer heavily dependent on these two countries to meet about 60% of its annual needs. India is important for Malaysia as it is the biggest customer. I wanted to give this context so that you should not assume that selling LCA Tejas for palm oil is not going to be a useful deal for India. Now let's try to understand the requirement of Royal Malaysian Air Force RMAF. The RMAF has capability 55 Future Force Structure Program. According to this program, RMAF intends to field three fighter laid in trainer combat aircraft or fleet LCA squadron by 2055. A request bids was also issued on 22nd of June 2021 by Malaysian Ministry of Defence for the supply and delivery of 18 fleet LCA to replace its BAE Hawk 108 and 208 light combat aircraft fleets and Armachi MB339CM trainers operated by Royal Malaysian Air Force. The selected vendors were supposed to source or buy at least 30% of their products and services from Malaysian companies. While the exact details about the value of contract for 18 aircraft is not available, however, as per few sources, it's going to be valued at around 4 billion Malaysian ringgit, which is approximately 900 million dollars. 50% of amount is to be paid via counter trade involving crude palm oil or palm oil products. While there are total of 6 bidders for this contract, the lead competitors for this bid are India's LCA Tejas Trainer also known as LIFT and South Korean FA-50. Now in order to understand which will emerge as a possible winner, we have to analyze from the various perspectives such as cost, capabilities, etc. HAS Tejas and Korean FA-50 both have two things in common which includes engine and radar. However, Malaysia might have problem with radar as both of them at present features radar of Israeli origin. While HAL will be integrating indigenously developed Uttam AES radar from 17th Tejas LCA Mark 1A onwards, FA-50 does not have any such indigenous option which will be a major setback for the fighter jet. Capability wise also, LCA Tejas is far superior to FA-50 in many aspects for the obvious reason as FA-50 is primarily designed for training and Tejas as a weapon delivery platform. Tejas offers versatile weapon package which no other fighter in its category can offer. It integrates with Russian, Indian, Israeli and even American weapons. The future integration of Astra and Brahmos NG is going to give it capabilities beyond comparison with fighters in its segment. However, the most important factor for Tejas is the element of surprise. KAI has presence in the region having secured contracts in Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines for its aircraft. The commonality of aircraft means each country will be aware of the capabilities of the other. But Tejas will be the new beast regarding which none of these country will have any idea. Malaysia will have an edge because of the element of surprise in the region if it goes ahead with Tejas. Now in order to facilitate the counter trade, and Memorandum of Understanding was signed with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India as channelizing partner for the import of palm oil with Malaysia. RMAF expects to pay $900 million for 18 fighters 
or roughly 45 to 50 million dollars per fighter. Tejas Mark 1A is understood to be falling in that price band with approximate cost of 43 million dollars each. At the same time, a factory fresh F-50 costs around 30 to 35 million dollars. Here, F-50 has edge over the price. However, if we look from palm oil trade perspective, South Korea has imported 6 lakhs 50 thousand metric ton of palm oil in the year 2021, and India has imported 8 lakhs 45 thousand metric ton. nearly 2 lakh metric ton more which means india can deal more transaction in terms of palm oil with malaysia than south korea overall from most of the perspective lift or lca mark 1a trainer is one fighter that fits into the rmaf requirement and at the same time stand out of other competing fighters if this deal is inked it will be the first export order for lca tejas and much needed breakthrough for indian defense ecosystem this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector